Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial for Inventory Pro. So in this tutorial we're going to set up a slot element which we can use inside of our collections. So the slot contains the items and is the visual representation of a single slot in an inventory, bank, vendor, whatever kind of collection. So we can design our own and we're going to start by creating a empty object. And there we are. And I'm just going to size this one to 40 by 40. Let's place it here. And I am going to add a slot UI element. So we have the default, which is slot UI. Um, this is a general purpose one. You can use it for pretty much anything. Then we have the key trigger, which allows you to trigger the item inside of the slot when the player presses some button. We've got the slot UI loot, which is the special one for loot windows. We've got the reference sum, which we use for references, and it sums up all of the references pointing to it. We've got the slot UI static, which is basically the same as slot UI, except it doesn't do anything when you click it. And then we have one specifically for the vendor. So I'm just going to use the slot UI for now, which is just a standard one. So we have a couple of references we can set to UI elements, and we have the cooldown visualizer. So I'm going to start by creating the background image. Let's call this background and set it to scale to the same size as the parent so it's always the right size. So for this we also have a default icon background and I'm going to, let's see, we can also attach the image to this. And then we'll use this for the actual item icon. I'm just going to set this to some items so we can see what it looks like. And we can disable raycast target because we already have the raycast target on the entire item itself. And then we can disable raycast target on all the child objects, uh, which is a little faster in Unity. So it's a little performance improvement. All right, and now we can reference our item icon right there. Um, we also have a field for the amount and we have a field for the name of the item. We can leave them blank if we want, don't want to use them, but if we want to uh, show the item name inside of the slot, we can do that. And we can also set the amount, so the stack size in this case. So we're going to add one for the stack size. Stack size. I'm just going to pin this to the top right and make it about 30 in width and set the y to 1 to 1 so it's in the top right corner I'm just going to set the color to white disable the raycast target and then set it to about a size of 12 so we can see that we have three items There we go. Okay. And we don't need rich text, so, okay. So now we can reference the stack size, amount text, there we go. And we can also do a cooldown visualizer, which shows us um, if the item is in cooldown. So I'm just gonna add another UI image, call this one the cooldown. And then we're just going to scale it to the same size as the parent again. Disable Raycast Target. And here I'm just going to choose a source image. And I'm just going to choose a flat white image. There's one uh, default that you can use. And when we have a flat image, we can choose the image type to be filled and set it to radial 360, which basically allows us to do this cutout type uh, cooldown effect which is just perfect. So I'm going to set it to top so it starts at the top and fills up with cooldown. And we can also swap it around if we want to. Um, I'm just going to go back to our game object, reference the image fill and now it will automatically fill the image fill as the item is in cooldown. But as you can see we also have a slider so we could also use a slider if we wanted to. And we also have 
a text field. So we could also add a text. And let's just set this to the center again. Center it out. Let's make it white. For example, and then now we can reference this in our text. We can set a text format, which is uh, the the format in which it will be repainted. So if we put S behind it, we'll get the uh, current time, the cooldown time, and then we could say seconds, and then it pastes this behind it. So let's just leave it at S. We can run to decimals, and we can clear the text, the cooldown text, when the value is zero. So when our cooldown hits zero, the cooldown text will disappear. Okay, so now I'm just going to make a prefab of this object. And I'm just going to remove it from our scene. And now we're going to go to the inventory window and I'm just going to reference our new item button prefab, so our new slot. So when we start now, this inventory collection will use our new slot. Open up the inventory, so new slot. Uh, it still has the um, the bottle as the default image. So I'm just going to change that real quick, the item icon, and just clear this out. Um. I'll just set it to transparent. Okay, there we go. So now, if I pick up some items, some items with cooldown. There we go. So if I now use this item, it goes into cooldown and we see our cooldown text right there. So this way you can make your own slots. You can also set it inside of the settings under settings editor UI. You can set your item button prefab here. If you do this, every single collection will use this specific um, slot unless it is overwritten in a specific collection as we did here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more or different tutorials, please do request them on the DevDoc forums. All right, see you in the next one.